long ago, deep in the Appalachian wilds, a group of drunken misfits joined forces to play Dungeons and Dragons. Inspired by boredom, equipped with loose morals, and a questionable understanding of the rules, our heroes venture forth to explore strange new lands. So, gather up your dice, your manuals, and your livers, and join us on a quest to make absolute fools of ourselves. This is Botched, a D&D podcast. Previously, on Botched. Botched. Bro, fucking Perkins, like, warped us around when I totally had it under control with the uh, the Navi dudes, and now we're back. Uh, everybody fell asleep, so I was like, okay, I'm going to sleep too, bye. Welcome back, listeners, to the 60th episode of our fifth season. Thanks so much for tuning in again. This episode is brought to you in partial sacrifice to our great god queen, Shanna Panda. Praise her. Long Praise may she be reigned. Long Praise may her. she be purple reigned. We are going to start off not where we left off last time, as the crew is in sleepy time mode. But all of a sudden, Todd, you are awoken by your security protocols. Breaks you out of your hibernation mode. And when you wake up, you are... Party foul. Not in your ship. Uh, uh, you are in a spacesuit, but you notice that there uh, are numerous alarms going off. And it, these very like bright the suit? purple. No, it's outside the suit. Uh, All right. These purple lights just going off, flashing constantly. And you feel this fairly steady rumble of the space station. As it sounds like there's some sort of commotion going on. Yeah, there's like a rumble in my tumble, and I'm stuck in this suit. You notice next to you there are three sleeping pods. Mm-hmm. And by three, I mean, no, there's three. Three sleeping pods with your other crew yeah. members on them. Perkins. Rowan, Yakish, Rowan. and Perkins. Yeah. Those are my buddies. Yeah, the glass is a little frosty. Everybody's in there. Uh, there's no, like, uh, symbiotes trying to, like, go uh, through their, like, skin or anything? No, it does not look that way. They're all right. they're also wearing the same suits, the suit that you are. Oh, what's my suit look like? Your suit, uh, it looks very similar to the Tenebra's suit, except nice. not forearms, just two, uh-huh. uh, and very stylized, heavily armored. Uh, I'll say that your base AC now is a fifteen. Hell yeah! Instead of whatever the base was before for you. Ten. There you go. Ah, uh, sweet. And doing a quick. Rundown, because you have a you do have a HUD. It mm. appears that this suit has a built-in propulsion system and mag boots. Oh, dude! Yeah, and a grappling um, cable if you should need it. Sweet, like uh, so. I was woken up early. What does my sleep timer say? I was doing instead of the ten. Uh, so it it appears as though you were only asleep for about a year. Oh shit! Yeah, but it also has indicators on it to say that the station is under attack. Probably the not Navi has figured out a way to get through. Possibly. Is there a reason? Like, do my do our suits look pretty done? Like, should I just figure that they were putting us on ice for ten years because they're jerks or what? Uh, your suit, the the suit itself looks like it has the capability to be modified a great deal, but none of the modifications have been added yet. Mm. Um. So it looks like it's about 20% done, but it is sealed, so you could go out into space and not die. I mean, you are robots, so it doesn't matter, but... But, like, radiation and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it does appear Damn. if you just fell into that radiation cloud, you'd probably be fine. They, they did that first. Okay, well, I guess I'll uh, wake up my buddies. Sure, there is a little console next to each of their tubes, and pretty clear, a... Uh, green button with yeah, a I'll switch it from red to green there sure boop and tsh, the pod opens up and you notice that the the Todd pod the, there's a little frost on them and immediately there's this steam almost that shoots out around them it gets a little toasty for a second and all of the the frost has melted off of them and they all start to slowly uh, flutter away uh, if I could give you guys wet willies, I would, but you got suits on. 
screwed. I mean, you can give me a wet willy, buddy. Oh, <clears throat> Don't. What happened? Where are we? What's going on? What's uh, all that noise? We're in these cool suits that look like they have radiation dampening and You're stuff in and cool rocket suit. boots. Am I in cool suits? Your cool suit's different. Your cool Sorry, you suit look like a spider, dude. looks more like <laughs> Doc Ock. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, has two quote-unquote leg appendages, but with gloves on the end for hands. Double Doc Ock. But then also, uh, they positioned the rest of the, the arms so that they actually can rotate around. So, based on wherever you need your arms to be, the, it's like little, it's like, uh, not cylinders, so he's like a, but... He's like a little armor ball that has kinda. cylinders coming out that zoop around. Yeah. So, and unlike the, Hammond from Overwatch? Uh, I don't know. Unlike a battle that. droid from the prequels? You mean the Roger Roger uh, ones? No, 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 the ones that can curl <laughs> up into a ball and roll into situations. Oh, Droidica. Droidica, yeah. Uh, Droidica! Droidica! Kinda, because you are a little, if, you're sort of like egg-shaped, except for the the bottom sticking out appendages for legs and then the rotating uh, side bits, but the quote-unquote helmet region is part of, it, it's just like a protrusion from the egg itself. I'm just going to beat around your bush <clears throat> with smoothmyballs.com okay. slash botch. Where, uh, what's my AC? Your AC is uh, 15. Plus, Bro, I think, plus you, I think you're more of like a yeah. beholder, okay. but with legs. A beholder with legs? <laughs> kind of. I'll take that. Row beholder. Todd, not going to lie, he looks kind of badass. I saw it. Even though he's like yeah. an egg-shaped, the protrusion bit for his helmet, like, uh, digital eyes, like, glow up, just and oh. pff, steam shoots out of the bottom part, similar to Giver, if you've ever seen that. MacGyver? Not MacGyver. Oh. Giver. I've never seen that, but uh, I'm more worried <laughs> that they didn't keep his tits. Is it, are no, his tits still there? Still here. Uh, they're still holograms, and they're still on the outside of whatever weird thing that he has, so. Nice. They somehow figured out a way to still project it on the outside of his suit. So, he's so he has got... like holographic truck nuts but they're tits. Yeah. But nice. they're yeah. nice fake boobs! <laughs> big, <laughs> big fake boobs. Big, Great. Big, Great fake tits. Big, fake boobs. E-cups. Okay. In double E's. I hate this. Hold on. Easy. O-O-cups. Oh, oh, Triple O. Triple O-cups. O-O-O. It's magic. You know. You know. Because of those big Mr. O. Big fake boobs. So yeah. All right, and then uh, my my other friend Rowan, what's what's her suit like? Yeah, I have a couple of very specific questions about this. <laughs> Rowan's suit is fairly slim and sleek. Uh, also I'm looks chunky. Are you chunky? I'm a little chunky. Okay, well, suit's a little chunky then. Suit's a little thick. A little thick with a couple C's. Only like it looks three. like a sausage shoved inside a fucking really tight case. It's like three C's, uh, but you your suit looks similar to Todd's, just not quite as blocky. Sexy. Number one. Number one, where is my fucking exoskeleton? Oh, it's uh not around you right now. God damn it. Number two, does this suit block my ability to show them whatever they see? Yes. Oh, they can see me? For real me? They can't see anything. They just see the suit. Oh, this but is if your like, exoskeleton was gone. Because we like... want we want Rowan to be God. <laughs> She'd have to take the suit off. They didn't they didn't install the uh active not camo, but uh whatever you'd like to call that. So I'm a little four foot chonker. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Aww. It Perkins may suit? work with the exoskeleton. Oh, uh, Perkins? It's just like a slightly lamer version of... He's just got the giant cod piece! Just... Everything else yeah. is not protected! <laughs> the cod piece is just guns. Yes, yeah, it's just gun dick. He's like a uh, Jareth from the Labyrinth, but it's a gun instead of just a glorious <laughs> sure. cock! That's what's-his-face from uh, Dust Till Dawn. Gun dick just pops out with the two barrels on the uh, sides. I've never seen that movie. <laughs> really? Hmm. No. Is it on Prime? Probably not. Well, let's let's go figure out why these alarm sirens are happening, and maybe Iron Man ourselves through space if we have to. Sure. Bust out of that room as you approach the door. It just slides open. Bust Is there it a out. panel anywhere? 
there is a panel in the room itself. So the, the room itself is a, a circular shaped. In the center of it, there is an apparatus that has a bunch of these tubes uh, for hibernation, sort of jutting out of it in a like an eight-sided star pattern. All right. And uh, all the other ones are empty except for the ones that you were in. All right, I'm going to look on this panel and see if I can find out where our fucking ship is. Okay. Slash, what the hell is going on? So you start to fuck around with the panel. Roll me an intelligence check since it is Tenebra technology and not the most straightforward. It's a 17 on the die, so 19. You realize that since they got four arms, they're probably... It's not meant for two hands, so it's just a little bit more complicated. But uh, you eventually bring up a schema. It like pops up a little hologram where it shows the space station. This space station is one of the ones that's uh, sort of mining the dark matter of the Solid, uh, yeah. holes. And your ship yep. is docked within this space station. Yeah, the Dyson station. Yes, cool. the Dyson station. Shark station. You're just naming vacuums. I get it. Like Station Dyson, Roomba. It has a nice smooth ball there. <laughs> it's very smooth on all sides. All right, this is Officer Todd on the Todd radio calling all Tenebra. What is up? We're at war. Brian? No, my name is Ryan. Uh, it's Ryan, not Brian. <laughs> no, he, his na- he said his name was Ryu. Uh, you're right. I, uh... I'm like mm. Dugan. Yeah. Ah, Dugan. See? Right, Ryu, bro. <laughs> can you? Yes. Can we leave? What? Yeah, I, I feel like yeah. I feel like we didn't get our upgrades, but uh, we weren't able to implement all the upgrades we were trying to do before the not Navi figured out how to travel through the wormhole. We uh, positioned uh, basically a trap in front of the wormhole, but eventually they overwhelmed it. So they're here and they're attacking the space hanging, stations. Uh, swinging. Paint buckets from the uh, the no, we wormhole. just heat we just heated up all the doorknobs. Why why did you put marbles <laughs> down? We also the, had the... spiders. 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 It worked Plastic for a spiders. bit. Spiders. They started hitting each other with golf clubs. It was great. Bro, you should have clogged it with a giant lobster, you dummies. I clogged it with most of a beard, leaving a Fu Manchu. It worked pretty okay. <laughs> that is a joke it's, just for me. This is a joke for only this house. And the invisible roommate Morgan. <laughs> She doesn't exist. <laughs> She's like Santa Claus in the right, well, commercial. Uh... They do exist. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so it, he's just you know, if I were you, I'd get out here, uh, get out of here as fast as possible. But they can track your ship. Why? Why don't you want our help? Uh, what? Why don't you want our help? Uh, well, you guys said you had a plan for stopping them. I assume it doesn't involve trying to take on the not Navi in a full-on, you know... No, it's more of a culture war, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna cancel them out of existence! <laughs> Great. Um, All right. Well, can you maybe give us some stealth tech real quick? Did they give you any sort of technology? Maybe that's how they were tracking you. Did they, oh, did they... yeah, they did. You want it? <laughs> I don't want... Why would I want it? All right, so we should just blow it Are up. you talking about the wormhole? Tech? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we already took that. Well, we copied then, it. We didn't take it. Then how are they tracking us, dude? dude. Oh, you mean you copied it. You didn't take it. Yeah. Take it. We left it on okay. the ship. We just copied it. All right. Well, let's so sprint we can over to our ship. Wormhole. Nice talking to you, Ryu. Bye. See you, bye. Uh, so as you're running down the hallways, and the suit that you're in actually sort of lights up. Like I said, it's, it's this very shiny, almost wet-looking black material, but... Uh, you know, as the thought pops into your brain to... Uh, oh, what kind of thoughts am I thinking of? Where is the ship? Oh, nice. <laughs> Not E-thoughts. You notice that there are various... No, E-thoughts? There's, there's shower thoughts. <laughs> Anime hot, thoughts. Hot tub thoughts. So we're running down the hallway and our suits are lighting up. So you're... Tits and tubs. <laughs> Tits and tubs. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, so the the left arm on your suit... Or are you left-handed uh, or right-handed? I'm re- left-handed. Okay, then your right arm. Like a fucking creep. These different uh, lines of colored energy sort of roll down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a monster, oh, so I'm, I'm left-handed. I'm left-handed like the Antichrist. Yeah. You fucking Fun <laughs> fact, Hitler, also left-handed. Coincidence? Everyone on this I show is not. trying to so piss me Paul off. Today. McCarthy. Klotz. And Paul Klotz. <laughs> 
Did you think he is left-handed? Um, no, Todd's re- Todd's right-handed. Okay, so your left hand or left arm, I should say, from like the shoulder down, you see these streaks of different colored energy starting to to move down and then coalesce around your wrist region and then pop up into a little map that indicates where you are and then indicates how to get to your ship. As you're you know running down the hallways, you know it's just boom, boom, and the whole thing's shaking around a bit. and you, you can see out the windows that there are numerous not Navi ships, and there are ten of our ships, and they're firing on each other and all that jazz. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty knock-down, drag-out fight out there. All right. Uh, how long does it take us to get to our ship? Should we run harder? <clears throat> so, roll me an athletics check. Everyone? Yeah. Todd got a 25. You got a 25? Okay, what the rest of you guys get? Uh, I got an 18. Okay, what, what'd with you a get? Pl- with a plus 15. <laughs> you have a plus 17. 15 to your athletics? Yeah. Jesus. Double proficiency? Probably problem. something with bounty hunter no, or something. No, it's a bounty I figure. And would you get uh, Rowan? 17. Okay. So you guys are all running pretty hard. And then, you know, various times the, the station shakes and you sort of get a little off kilter and sort of bounce into the walls. You're running so fast, in fact, that certain parts of the ship end up closing behind you as there are impacts to the to the space station that sort of cause it to break down a little bit and opened up into the vacuum of space and all that jazz. But you guys do manage to get to the, the, the not cargo bay, but the docking area, and your ship is there. It does look a little bit different as it has the relative look of the ship from before, but it's that shiny, wet-looking black material all around. Oh, wet metal! Mm, and you notice that it's, like, pulsing with different colors around it? Wap, 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 wap. Yeah. Wet-ass P-word. Wet Make that pull-out pulsing. game weak. I prefer uh, the Ben well, Shabibo version. Shabibo. Shabibo. Open, the, open the bay doors, bros. We're coming in. Pal. <laughs> open the bay doors, pal. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys are getting on your ship? Or you're having them open the bay doors before you get on the ship. Yeah, so we can just jump right in. We're opening the our ship doors first, Our please. doors. Good call. So yeah. <laughs> uh, Season so, over! Oh, no! But no, because you're in suits. Oh. You're just floating out in space. Oh, no, so we have to have eight episodes of just talking as we drift yep. just during a dark fight. Uh, battles. Hey, buddy, how you doing Get out away here? from me, Perkins! <laughs> just uh, I can't wait till you guys start to death and I can be alone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I think, think Yakish needs to eat out. I, I mean, know. I run pretty efficient, so I'll last a while. Yeah. Perkins, we gotta worry about. I'm, well, I'm, I'm fine. Treat my own fluids. So we open up our own doors and we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> As Perkins ponders on what it would be like to be floating in space. Eating my own gum! So you guys get in the ship. Uh, I guess Perkins is the fucking pilot now. Uh, he. Puts the ship in takeoff. He, he did mode. pretty good. Yeah, he did pretty all right. Pretty, pretty and you guys exit the space station. Perkins. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's, what's going on? Eject that wormhole jibulator. Oh. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Okay. No. And he. No, no, no. Hits that's how the they're button, tracking us, bros. And it. Absolutely not. Pff, no. Just uh, jettisons off the top and just. We can pick it up later. Tractor beam it. <laughs> Tractor beam, yes, right. I just ejected. You guys are giving me conflicting information. I'm feeling very stressed right now. You guys are yelling at me. Perky, (laughs) get it back. Okay. Well, couldn't we, like, send it somewhere where we can retrieve it? And he tractor beams it? Yes, all right, Dave. You'll never hear me say this again, but good job, Perkins. Oh. (laughs) Guys, they track us with that. Well, I'm going to work on it so that... I'm going to get out the uh, anti-tracking device. Okay, so it pulls it and he puts it in the the cargo bay. Sure. So can we like ray shield it? Ray shield it? Well, What's that? Yeah. Also, if the Tenebra fucking deconstructed it, right? To or I'm sorry, yeah. no, they just copied. Re- it. Well, they re-engineered it. Right? Yeah. So wouldn't they have? Taken any kind of tracking beacon out of it? Maybe. All right. Yeah. So look, man, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Hi, low. No, I'm going. To stop that <laughs> shit, you dumb fuck. <laughs> I kind of want to just see if you get it wrong again. I want to 
uh, take my time and, and inspect it all over to see if there is any kind of tracking device well, onto sure. it. Well, sure. While you're doing that, we're flying through a space battle. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So uh, Perkins is like, so what am I doing here, guys? And there's literally hundreds of ships firing on each other. The Tenebra are trying to use the holes in space, those dark matter holes, to try and also like uh, to relay the energy at ten uh, uh, not navi ships which is decimating them essentially the beam relays from the hole into the space station shoots out at a uh, not navi ship and when it hits it it's almost like it just uh acid just eats away like a hole in the ship and like acid eats your brain away everything gets sucked out in the space and the ships are just useless after a little bit is there any way to inspire perkins on his flying? Yeah. With like a leadership check. Sure. sure. Tell, me, leadership? tell me that you love me. Perkins, I have never been so impressed with you over the, I guess, 58 years that we've known each other. You're doing such a good job. I can't believe how well you control your own stick oh. as you maneuver our way through this death dog fight. Okay. You want a leadership? Yeah. What's that? I've never had to do leadership before. Uh, Charisma? Charisma? 14? Uh, roll me a d4. A d4? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Goddamn. <laughs> Won't matter. <laughs> I blushed. No, goddammit, Perkins! Goddammit, Perkins! <laughs> oh, I'm so distracted by the compliment! Oh, you got I, the boner I, in the middle of me oh, complimenting you, oh, Perkins! <laughs> and you said nice things to him for the first time. Cunt. Oh, why'd you even pre Maybe if you said everywhere. something nice before now, I wouldn't be. God damn, I'm trying to help oh. this situation. And because of your lazy cock, we are now in fuck. It's definitely not lazy. You're fucked. And he's just, he's I swear, there's flying never around wildly. This has <laughs> uh, never happened before. One in four. Um, so he's Yuckish. flying around wildly. What? Yes, what is it, double D's? It's your fault. Oh, no! <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to incite that. I don't believe you. <laughs> this is Perkins' fault. I did, if you if you said a if nice had, thing to me every once in a while, instead of always putting me down, I wouldn't be so startled when no, you said something no, nice. Bro. Perkins, Yuckish. if you weren't such an awful fucking human, I would probably compliment you more. <laughs> Yuckish, he's just you know flying you no, get us out into here, blaster you fire. Fuck. Just There's just shots going by. <laughs> Yuckish. Uh, you know you have to disable your holograms before you talk to him. I don't want That's to. It's on you. Hey, Yuckish. I don't have... Harlow. Uh, you know what? Let's roll it. Low. It was high. <laughs> it's 54. <laughs> and I did the Tristan method where you, I, I did You fucked it up. Ah, the fuck the high level. Your ship is getting pelted by shots as Perkins is just <laughs> frazzled can from take, all the stress. Can I take over the spaceship <laughs> control? <laughs> yeah, you can. Can I fucking missile kick him out of the goddamn There's just seat? another driver's seat. No, I'm going to missile kick him out of the seat. Okay, roll athletics. I thought you were taking apart the, the space drive. It's true. You said you were going to well, take out the tracker. Now that we're, now that we're getting... Uh, so the tracker's there? So what, is that you what didn't say? check to see if the tracker's there. So as far as you know, there is. Athletics is a 27. Yeah, you just boop him right out of the, the seat. And he's like, oh, okay, you could just ask Strength me to get up. 15, uh, Perkins, bro, get that tracker out of that wormhole. And now I'm going to start piloting go better look. than him. Get down to here, you dumb fuck. <laughs> this is why I didn't like the couple more. And Perkins just runs away crying. 22 piloting. Uh, so you immediately get a hold of the wheel. And there are numerous shots coming right at your ship from one of the not Navi ships that's roughly the same size as yours. And you do sort of a barrel roll maneuver, and the spinning action actually deflects the bolts right off. No, nice. that's it's that like fucking light, Star Fox It's like ship. this light blue thing comes off the front of your ship. Oh, it's weird. Blah, noise. It's weird. I don't get it. I don't know what that reference is, it's but It's Star I like Fox. It. Literally, oh, okay, when you do yeah, a barrel yeah, roll, yeah. it goes do blah. A barrel roll. <laughs> But yeah. I'm like Slippy Toad, but Fuck for you. different You're reasons. You're dead. You're all dead now. <laughs> and Todd's going to fire back at that not in a V ship? Sure. Although we can't claim neutrality. We I, I think we're I past think that. We're I think we're past, past that. All right. Are we're past that. Me? All right. You're past we're neutrality. I got a 24 to shoot him. What are you shooting him with? Space lasers. But they have new weapons on us? They did install some dark matter lasers, so they'll do I'm shooting uh, those. twice as much damage. So bringing me up to what, 46? A D4. 
of 41, you have now 1d4. It could be worse. Uh, I don't have the, the sheet in front of me, but I believe it was a d8 at the time. So let's... I think it was I'll like a d10. It. Everything's normally a d10. d10. So 2d10. So 2d10. Yeah, for normal blaster. And you're firing multiple times. You have four guns, so... Oh, do. Then I'll roll all that 4d10. Uh, <laughs> Maybe they won't notice. We're friendly. <laughs> So four, it's two me. D10s. It's me. He said, kiss me, kiss me, smart, smart ass, ass motherfucker. motherfucker. I love that. Did you say four, two D10s? Four D10s. Uh, okay. Or four, two D10s, yeah. Yeah, okay. So eight, so eight D10s. 25, Why you gotta confuse me with numbers? <laughs> Just say 22. eight D10s. God damn it. Four, two D10s. <laughs> 56 and then plus my bonus, 62 all okay. day. So... This is the first time you've actually fired the guns on A, this ship in a while, but B, these new guns. And the, the front of your ship, the, the four arms fold out to, you know, indicate that the attack mode is on. And you notice this, like, bluish-greenish energy sort of emanates down the the arm itself and then just shoots out real fast. And it decimates the not Navi ship. Uh, oh, Todd, bro. You could see that the first two shots basically completely take out the shield and like the the frontish region. The other two shots just tear right through the ship and it explodes. Nice, uh, dude. Causing a fairly large explosion. And like a the, super the ship. Tenebra is just like, get out of here. We'll cover you. Sweet. <laughs> uh, punch uh, it, Yakish. I'm all dead in the punch. Falcon punch. <laughs> Perkins is just like, I don't think I think they took the tracker out, guys. Oh, thank you. I don't see oh, one. On. Fuck oh. you, Perkins. I I'm gonna insight Perkins' work. I got a twelve. I mean, he seems confident. All right, we'll figure so, it out. Yeah, but we'll so out later. You, you punch it. Yeah. Yeah, we're uh, we're uh, blasting off to the warp it. gas no. pod. Right. Is the to wall the shield? Still up? Yeah. No, I'm punching uh, <laughs> my way through the 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 wall, and then I'm okay. warping. So you got a ways to go before you get to the wall. So your ship actually Good. just shoots right through the fiery wreck of one of the other ships, and you you see there's still more blasters going off. There's a few not Navi ships that are sort of coming in behind you. Some Tenebra Fires. sort of not cut you off, but sort of get in the way and sort of fire on the not Navi. It looks like nice. there's one more ship in your way before you get to that wall. That's a wait, is it? Ryan and Ryu are our wingmen? Kinda. Nice. Maybe. You don't know. They're all the same to you. Is that Ryu Kill. over there? No. This name is, uh, this guy's name is Barbara. He's Barbara. Like, Barbara. It sounds like Barbara. <laughs> Barbara. Get there. Have fun getting lost in the upside down, Barbara. They're, they're, they're coming for you, Barbara. <laughs> they're coming for you, Barbara. There's at least 18 Barbaras in this movie. <laughs> Five. Do you want me to... Whoever you could do evasive maneuvers, or somebody can shoot, or both. We can do both. Yeah, let's I'm gonna shoot. let's do both. Fifteen to twenty-one. Yeah, you are just you know you found a new calling as a you you've never driven a ship before well, apparently. With the plus six decks, I probably should have always been driving. But you are just all of a sudden you feel natural in this ship. Um, <laughs> in fact, what's weird is, as you're piloting the ship, you notice that the controls themselves. Your suit is almost integrating with the controls. Am I like flight in the navigator? Kind of. Oh, oh, a little shit. bit. So like it, it's almost sensing what you're thinking and Do going you know off that. How much I love that movie. What is it? Flight of the Navigator. I've never seen it. Wow, it's never not a great it. movie, but goddamn, I love it. Space movie. Is it as good as the Time Machine? It's no, it's a. It's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Morlocks. It's like a, a spaceship comes down and a kid finds it and goes on on board and ends up taking it for a joyride for a while. I've never seen it. It's got uh, Paul Rubin as the voice. Paul Rudd. Okay. You know you listen to my words, so I'm going. To I heard with Paul Rudd. Let's go. Uh, and Todd shoots back with a 28 for a 61. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, you. Uh, this ship's a lot larger, so it's not going to tear through the shields, but it does look like it deals a large amount of damage to the shields. Um, so yeah, but with your evasive maneuvers, um, Yakish just dives underneath the other ship, just avoids it narrowly, um, so close that their ship can't fire on it and then pops out the other side. You guys are about to get to that energy wall. 
Rowan, can you, like, hack their mainframe and shut them down or something, dude? I mean, I can try. Sure. Uh, mechanical engineering. Okay. Rowan, by the way, you notice out of the corner of your eye, your mech suit's just sort of hanging there on the wall. Oh, that's an 18, and then as soon as I do that, I go put that motherfucker on. Though it looks like your suit's been modified a bit. Oh, you yes. mix <laughs> Yeah. With, like, these Dude. fucking scythe arms off the top. Oh, my God. And missile turrets? Uh, like a little battle tech? So it I looks like the you. arms have a missile turret on each arm. Dope. But, like, yeah, like, these, these two scythe spider arms that just, like, fold in the back, and then when you get in it, it just, like, flings oh, out. All of my desk! Testicles, like a Scotty <laughs> What'd you oh say? Yes. I said I'm like a BT splicer. <laughs> Is that uh yes. Smooth my balls? Smooth my balls, yeah. <laughs> what, Slash what'd you roll for your what you call it? Uh, an eighteen. Oh yeah. To hack the main. So you hack. you hack in or at least you Okay, so they were not expecting a hack. Uh you managed to sort of drop not drop their shields, but you sort of Disable their weapons for we a second. Hit them with a DDoS, kind of, just to overload their yeah. servers. <laughs> this is where your family lives. <laughs> no, no, uh, that's a dox, not a DDoS. DDoS. Uh, you're <laughs> that's what I heard. <laughs> Initiate <laughs> system restart. <laughs> yeah. Hack the planet. Hack the world. Oh, that movie you've seen. You've not seen it. You just know the memes. What? Hack the planet, hack the world? That's not a show. It's a movie, right? Hack, hack the cheerleader, hack the world. That's Got different. <laughs> <laughs> hack the same hack the cheerleader. Isn't that hackers? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that see, so many times. You've seen that My movie. voice is Angelina my passport. Jolie. Okay. Anyways, so yeah, so you, you shut down the weapon system on that large, not Navi ship, so it's not going to shoot at you as you drive by, and your ship just <laughs> into the energy wall. <laughs> and you just, after a few moments, <laughs> And as you pull out the other side, we're going to take a break. Hello, everybody. This is Dennis, the world's most okayest DM, here to talk to you about patreon.com slash botch podcast. Now, everybody knows all the different levels and whatnot, but you might be wondering, who is the special guest this particular month? It's Drew from Tales to Terrify. You might have heard his intro popping up every now and then because I like to use his intro when I am on his show as well. It's a nice little cross-promotion or whatever. But for this Patreon... He came over and played with us. This particular month's Patreon has to do with kaiju and all that jazz. So, uh, my bread and butter. But here's a clip from the episode. R slash popping is the best. No, it is not. It's no. the fucking worst. The pimple, it's, what is it? Yeah, the it worst. Dr. Pimple Popper or I fucking, whatever? I don't know. I fucking love it. Uh, so, yeah. I, I can't do I it. I can watch it all day. Uh, I got on a kick of... Uh, I forget what country it is. There's like a, a parasite on dogs yeah, where I watch they, the shit out of they that. burrow holes in it and yeah. literally a doctor will like pop, pop them it. out mm. and they're like worms. Yeah. And then there's just all these like yeah. holes. I, I hate it. I hate it. I forget what it is. They're it's wolves. like a type of fly or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like fly larvae. It happens here. Yeah. That happened yeah. to one of my- In Georgia. Uh, one of my cats. When I was like, them, next time you get it, no. When but I was then like they 15. send it to me. They put them in a pan <laughs> and then put it in the freezer uh, and then feed it to like birds uh, or something. I forget. But uh, it's, uh, it's gross because uh, the dog's just covered in craters, uh, like deep craters. Yeah, not even like shallow. I can't even. Yeah. I can't and they're all moving and wriggling when they take them out. There's like a pile of them. It's gross. It's fucking nasty. Can we end this episode? <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, we got into some weird stuff, I'm not going to lie. But uh, yeah, so head on over to patreon.com slash botched podcast and subscribe today. If you want to hear more of this episode and the thousands of hours of content we have, it's $5 a month for that, or at the very least $3 a month to get into the Discord to hang out with the rest of the psychopaths that are fans of botched. So that's patreon.com slash botched podcast. Back to the show. And we're back. And we're back. All right. So yeah, so you've... (laughs) Through the energy wall and just plopped out the other side. Uh, there are. Hey, Yakish, higher low. Here we go, <laughs> Randy. Oh, I missed one. Hold on. Hi. There's a couple not Navi ships out there. Uh, that did are I just, fail my check? You did again. <laughs> I rolled a 12. And I went back to uh, to the method of re- re- reading what I roll. Uh, 
there are a few not Navi ships patrolling outside the energy wall, just going around. And there, there's one that's not too far away that is immediately alerted to the fact that you're there. I fly casually. <laughs> dun, 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 We don't dun, reuse jokes, Phil. Dun, 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 We've used this joke already this <laughs> season. Go fuck yourself, dead uh, you notice immediately on sensors that the Nanavi ship turns and starts to make it. And warp! So you warp. Where are we warping to? The, the gas cloud. Yeah, yeah, the cloud. Cloud? Okay. Unless we can warp through it. Cloud computing. So you pop out just on the other side of the cloud. And like I said, it's gargantuan. And it's purples and pinks and yellows and things like that. And it's constantly swirling. It's not like a stagnant cloud of radiation. But it's. But you notice you don't get any notifications that someone's following you through warp or anything like that. So that's something. Good. But yeah, your ship is just parked in front of this cloud of death. What are you doing? <sighs> Does everybody trust the uh, Tenebra's uh, technologies? With no. our very lives, my dude. Rowan, I mean, you seem like to. you have a little bit of uh, hesitation. I always have hesitation, but I have to trust it. I mean, we saw the probe go through with just a, yeah. a regular ship, so like... And we're suit. wearing the suits. Uh-huh. I fly it into the cloud. So you move <gasps> into the cloud... And you notice but that... But just the tip. I, I, I just the tip. I, I move very slowly, and then I stop to see, uh, you know, I'm going to put just the tip of the, the ship Roll in. piloting. I... Just the tip. Just to play just the tip. Rowan is grabbing Perkins and Todd's hands. Oh, like, okay. <laughs> I was waiting very, very diligently for the end of that shot. 22. Sentence. Oh, yeah. You just put just the tip in. The nose, which, by the way, is where you guys are located. I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're so as far as you can see out the windows, it's just this swirling, like fairly chaotic cloud of energy. Uh, but your ship seems to be holding up just fine. Beep, you're not. Beep, <laughs> beep, boop, beep, boop, 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 boop. Sure, you back up out of the energy cloud. Punch it, and I yeah, go hish. Full speed in. <laughs> <laughs> just a little tip back in a little bit, then back out, then a little further, then back up, then a little. I got a twenty. Yeah, you you pull it out until just you're all the way out, just a little bit. And I hit I you, hit the cloud uh, with the tip of the nose a couple <laughs> times, and then I go full speed. You in. you actually raise your ship up and slap you're it a few now? times That's down on the cloud. You, you yeah, the sure. The bit, and then go right down. And then you just explode into this wet radiation all over the place. Uh, and uh, does the cloud seem pleased or kind of uh, uh, so kinda colorful? Annoyed it's so angry. colorful now. It's so it's colorful. Like, God, that's not what I wanted, but uh, you did it anyway. Well, clouds are hard. There's to read. a song about it. You don't have to do this, but you did it Baby, anyway. Maybe it's cold outside. Uh, or uh, the no. Fuck her gently. <laughs> fuck her gently. Uh, so. <laughs> It takes roughly the same amount of time to pass through this as it does as it to pass through the energy Perkins wall. To, oh, sorry. What was that? Nothing. Don't worry about Perkins it. Perkins takes to what now? What were we going to say, buddy? No, uh, let's no, you uh, tell continue me. the no, you, story. I, I said you episode. fucking tell me. I turned comms off. I'm standing <laughs> right next to you. Mute him. <laughs> you can't mute me. I'm next to you. I'm still here. You're dumb, dumb, dumb. You're so dumb, dumb, dumb. So you pass through the Aww. radiation cloud. And like I described before, with the probe, when you pop out the other side, there is just rocky debris all over the place. But none of it is very large, so it's just sort of bouncing off the ship. Doing, Ding. Doing. Uh, and like I said, in the far, far, far distance, you see a tiny little dot to indicate there is a planet. But you do Bro. not see. Your scans do not pick up any other planets in this vicinity. Is there Just any this. kind of stealth technology on the ship? Um... Well, you know what? Y'all can shoot. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Higher or low, can buddy. You go, Here we can go. you go one for four today, bud? <laughs> Don't overthink it. Low. Just do the opposite of what you said. Nope. <laughs> rolled a 95. And I rolled a 74. 
Maybe you should just stick with an idea and go with that instead of swapping back and forth. Den, Den, I've tried that. <laughs> I know, that's, I why tried I pick, that. that's why I pick you every time, buddy. I have gone high, 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 and it's always been low, and then I'll go low, low, you went low, high, low, low, high, low. Tonight, but I'm saying yeah. through this entire season, if you listen to it, sure. I stick to a pattern, and now I don't know. I haven't, <laughs> literally, we've been recording this season for eight months. We don't have deaths, but we have you not being able to guess I high lows. I cannot hit high lows this entire You should never play season. slots. <laughs> so anyways, no, there is no stealth technology. Oh. They didn't have time to install it. It just, they, they started with the technology to get you through the cloud. That's it. That's all they got on there. Well, bros, I guess the best thing to do is just to go at it as fast as we can then. <laughs> but they don't have there. time to shoot us. Are you doing anything before you go to the planet? Um, shields up? Well, shields up, but also... Because you're looking for a weapon or something? I think the planet is the weapon, my dude. Rowan, what I if... I had to guess. Would it, would it be smart to have Rowan um, get out of the radiation spacesuit so that if she is on video comms or he is on video comms um they, they they show up as father or the son Con? of father returned you're like yeah, their jesus we, you're the prodigal we do son like, <laughs> prodigal? Can we scan and make sure prodigal? that i won't die if i take off this suit so inside the ship is fine um it was just a matter of if there was a breach, the suits were to keep you safe. You're not, and we're through the radiation. Yeah, you're through the radiation. It does seem like outside of the, I mean, the ship, there's obviously some radiation as well. So, don't go mm -hmm. floating around in a regular spaceship or a spacesuit. But uh, as you go through space, like the space towards that planet, it does seem like the radiation dissipates a bit. So it's probably not radioactive when you get to the planet. Nice. Cool. So. Inside the ship right now, there are no breaches because you guys didn't take any damage due to uh, excellent piloting. So You're she welcome. could she could take off. Good job, Perkins. Suit. Oh fuck you, double B. Oh, you're, you're welcome. Good job, Perkish. Oh, th thanks. No, we're not doing this again. Yuckins. We're not God, not Cleveland. No. Hey, no, it's, I appreciate it. You know, it's, it's for the good, good of the crew. You know what I'm saying? I come uh, very close to Perkins and I whisper in his ear. Yeah, he comes very close to Perkins. We want. I'm going to kill you. Whatever. I'm already dead inside. You're not. All I've ever wanted was for you to love me. I tried that and you pre-game all over the place. I got excited. Okay? Well, you made it weird. Perkins. You seem to like it. Whatever. I tried to be your friend and you <coughs> came all over the place. <laughs> well, you weren't the first. It was an orgy. It's, you know, common courtesy. I'm not going back to the bottom of the job wheel. We're on the cob and courtesy. We were on the slot. Uh, but I also slide. didn't turn off my comm, so everybody <laughs> hears the conversation. Sure. I hate you, and I want you dead. <laughs> the robot doctor's oh. like, can I be killed now, please? Just no, inject me into person, space so I don't have to here. listen to this garbage. <laughs> Sir, can I have access to the... Uh... <laughs> so how far away is that planet? Oh, How far away you don't have planet? to warp, but I mean, if you warped, it would probably take like a minute. No, let's do that so they don't have time to like line it up and shoot us. Yeah, yeah. that's also true. Okay. Agreed. So you guys warp for a whole, <sighs> like less than a minute and pop back out of warp. 15 seconds. Yeah, like 15 seconds. And there's this uh, planet. It has It's relatively green with some blue on it as well, but there's also, it, ha it has some... Very mountainous features uh, to it, uh, and there are even like glowing spots. Oh, it's a skull. Uh, could be, be volcanoes. You're not sure, but uh, yeah. So when you, when you that looks derpy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's ego. When you approach <laughs> the planet, you are immediately hailed through comms. Saw, dude. No. No, 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 no. Wait. No. <laughs> I say before I press the button and then duck behind the counter. <laughs> so you just said it to yourself? I throw the suit yeah. off. Like fucking tear away pants. Okay. Yeah, it's, like, it's snap pants. <laughs> um, so you can see what, you know, the other person will, will see anyways. Oh, sweet, um, sweet keg. They can't, nice. like the other crew members can't, but you can. And you look like a hippie. Oh. <laughs> 
You don't look like a god or anything. You look like a hippie. You're like, oh, I just commandeered this ship, dudes. I'm on my way. But yeah, so the, the comms We're are going so through like, bring, 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 bring. At your order, Captain. Bring, bring, I mean, bring, you're still bring. The captain, answer, Captain. No, I guess. it's up to you, bring, Rowan. Bring, if you are I, bring, I, in charge. I transfer the video call to Rowan Station and answer. Oh. Greetings, brothers and sisters. What can we do for you? Why have you come to see Father? We've come to seek salvation with Father. Oh, you look like one of the chosen. Well, please, Indeed. come on down to the surface. Father loves to see his children return home. Thanks. Be there in a second. Sure thing. Praise be to Father. <laughs> Praise, Praise be. be. <laughs> Under his eye that. and all. What'd you say? I don't Under say that. <laughs> I don't say that. Under I heard Zig Heil and all, but whatever. No. Uh, should we uh, should we brush up on their religion real quick while we Indeed. descend slowly? Yes. Yeah. Well, let's pull up should. a YouTube video and watch sure. it real quick. Uh, so it's it's like a Fallout video with like the little animated guy. Uh, oh, right. Essentially, so they, they believe boy? in We're going down, yeah. down. Uh, the right. Father, which is an all-knowing, all-seeing being. Can I ask a quick question yeah. before you keep going? Sure. So he, Rowan didn't show up as them, father. As father? No. I don't like that. But she's chosen. She looks so like sweet. you know a they, devout follower. They. I am chosen. So the video they. informs you that. Uh, Essentially, they believe in the Father, who uh, they believe is in constant communication with them, and knows all and sees all, and is very, very, very against any sort of bad behavior, and has a nasty temper, and will punish any who go against the teachings of Father. Punish me, Daddy! Punish! Oh, Perkins is going to be oh. so screwed! Oh, but no. Not in the way... Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but, uh... Be on your best fucking behavior and stay on the ship, Perky. They don't get a ton of converts. Uh, they do get some. They literally travel to every planet they can find. Um, and try and convert as many people as they can. Sometimes those planets aren't there anymore afterwards. But, uh, no, that's no. just a total coincidence, I'm sure. As they are complete pacifists... And just, they don't really ever raise their arms up to, like, defend themselves. Their ships literally have no weapons. Not even shields. Just, they're like barges that just float around through space. Not even warp drive. If you remember, they asked you to take them someplace because they don't have warp drive. Slow as shit. But yeah. Oh, so we, we did that. You did nice. do that. You took them to a planet and then that planet blew up. Um... So yeah, so you get all this information as you go down to the planet's surface. Now, when you get down there, you notice that the architecture is fairly simplistic. Or architecture? Architecture, yes. Yeah, they've got orcs yeah, built it's, into the Well, the planets, oh, the planets are built of orcs, yeah. Because that's yeah. what father father's into, is orc. And that's um, how we tied in D&D. &D. That's right. Orc, orc, orc. The oracle. Yeah. Orc so, no. the... The buildings are very round shapes, nothing hard. There's not a lot of hard corners or anything like that. But there doesn't appear to be a lot of super advanced technology. There's a little, obviously, because they do have spaceships. They're not great. Um, but lar fairly large cities sort of scattered around uh, the planet, but not near the, the burning sort of lumpy sections of the planet. Uh, your ship is indicating that those are packets, or pocket, not packets, pockets of pocket. radioactive, <laughs> like, packet. magma. It's almost like a direct line to the core of the planet, so nice. it's probably why they don't build cities right next to it. And then should we brush up on their laws real quick? Because they <clears throat> don't do anything bad. Death. Nothing Bye. immoral. Father is always watching. No lying, no cheating, no stealing, no killing, nothing. Nothing <sighs> bad. No drinking either. We're going All to bad. Uh, what if I needed to live? Maybe. Well, to I'll... be fair, there was a Jaeger ship, that you, or a Jaeger uh, factory. No, no, a Jaeger person that you guys had run into before that was a convert, and they just changed his fuel consumption, I believe. Not gonna happen. I'm gonna stay in it this suit like... so they don't know I'm a Jaeger. 
and I'm going to put all my booze into a soda can. <laughs> okay. Wine in a can. Wine got in it. Wine yeah. yep. nice. Just a lot of them. Mainlining wine. Got it. Okay. Should, what, was it like rubbing alcohol? Oh, I can't remember. From what? For the, the Jaeger that was converted. I don't remember. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Hand Kombucha. <laughs> I drink, just drink mouthwash. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, there is a landing pad for your ship. Um, obviously, your ship is gigantic compared to most other things down it's there. a good size it, don't Sh- worry about sure. it yeah and uh you guys land and there does appear according to your ship that there is a fairly sizable gathering of people outside of your ship of the pequar which are different races there's not like a specific race that is pequar um but in the of... compendium it says pequar mm. race of people who are perfectly behaved yeah but what I'm saying is they're not like homogenous. Yeah, there, there's there's robots. There's they basically just take all different races. Mm. They have a very normal human look to them. Well, the and standard very uh, okay. and plain. the standard pequar, yes, but they do <laughs> also convert other people. The OG pequar. Yeah, right. the OG pequar, are more humanoid looking. Uh, do I, Rowan? Need, you got I this. I don't need my suit outside of the ship. No. The, you, your ship is indicating there is no dangerous levels of radiation on this planet. It is completely suitable for life of any cool, type. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Do you need, like, a a thing on your mech that's, like, SEO mech and it comes to you? Are you wearing the mech suit with the scythe arms and missile turrets? Are they going to see it? Yeah. <laughs> How are they going to see it? They, they don't... The suit they doesn't change. They, see. they see you. You, you change. You would be a hippie wearing scythe arms and missile turrets. Oh, to this them. is for farming. To vaporize and the unbelievers. You motherfuckers had control. better fucking cover me so hard. Oh, you better cover me. <laughs> could could you spin it as farming equipment? <gasps> like I? like wheat yeah. cutting and and uh, uh, to please quarry blasting. And, well, no, but vermin uh, just. Uh, <laughs> It's a big, pest, big rat. Good, good for the, good for the harvest. Big rats. Yeah, a bountiful harvest to his father. Okay, sure. Let's try it. You can try run it with out. it if you want. Okay. Just play dumb if they, if they get angry. Yes. Okay. Then I'm gonna wear my suit. All right. What is our plan here? What are we trying to do? Uh, sure. I think we're gonna try to blow this planet up, dudes. Mm. Hmm. No, we have to steal their, their planet killing gun. The planet killing gun, yeah. I believe, is the father planet because this is like a living planet. Yeah, you know, she probably belches lasers or something. <laughs> we'll figure are it we out. We'll figure it out. Phil, are you watching the Twitch stream? Yes. Okay. Why? I'm just asking. Oh shit! <laughs> you don't see the frumpy face. Yeah, I see that. Now. Okay. Oh. You gotta wait for it to. I modeled it after Phil. So, so like, uh, <laughs> nice. we gotta figure out how it works by talking to them. So, like, maybe you can give. Get them to give us like conversion 101, and okay. then we'll uh, try to nice our way to the highest reaches and do something. Okay. Okay. So are you guys and, uh, exiting the ship? Yeah, we're gonna go Let's out. Keep, yeah, but keep our ship on radio control. Perkins is like, I'm just gonna stay Perkins on the ship. On the ship. Yeah, yeah. Perkins, that's yeah. a good idea. Break you, I just emanate sin. Like a, I'm just leaking, blast I'm off. leaking constant sin. So I think that's a good idea. If you I should control. break yourself. I should break myself. Yes. Please, please get that checked out. No, he likes it. Oh it's been, it's been there for thirty years. It shouldn't be leaking out like that. Yes, but we don't Perkins. have you, we don't have galactic health care here. That's true. The captain didn't give us a health care system, so hey. There's a bot. <laughs> Yeah, he's a duck yeah. bot, bro. He's mad the all the time, and he, he doesn't want to die. He just wants to castrate me. Well, it would solve your problems, so. Well, I mean, I just, he... Solve one problem, cause another. Well, I gave you health care. I don't know what you want from me. You didn't give me health care. As a duck bot. That's not a duck bot. He's talking He hates now. all life. He also performs surgery. Yeah, he turned Yakish into a murder monster so he could kill more people. I'm so he put hands. This is my final fall. <laughs> You're like a you get like a beholder, Yakish now. I, I guess. Look how happy I am. If a beholder had hands on the end of the tentacles, 
awesome. Even better. It sounds like a weird Pokemon. <laughs> it kind of does. All right, let's uh, descend down the ramp. Eight Paul. Shh. Just fucking finish this episode, ball? please. Please, God, get through it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Pargan stays on the ship. So that the the ship opens up. Tsh- and there is a crowd of Pequar standing outside the ship in their robes. There seems to be somebody a little bit, not not fancier robes, just more elaborate robes than the rest of them. Uh, and has a little bit of a headdress. The headdress is, looks to be uh, different colored feathers and things like that that are in this. Think of a sombrero that's squished in so it's not so wide, but the top of it is more pointy and sticking up, and then I- instead of a nacho sombrero, it's just colored feathers. Kind of like that. Just mix all so, that together. So <laughs> someone took a sombrero, made it into, like, a three-pointed captain's hat from a ship, but also brimmed the edges, is what you're saying? More vertical, less horizontal. Okay. Yeah. But the the moat around the top of the sombrero is filled with feathers. Okay. okay. Or at least what you think is feathers. Uh... And so that person is out in front, and he just has his arms out, and he's like, Welcome. Welcome to Father. Okay. It's been a long time coming, but now I'm finally ready. Oh, I'm sorry. Are, are you a, a convert? Saw dudes, yeah. Is this a brother or a sister this is, or another? What'd you say? Is this a brother or what now? Sister or another. This is a brother. Brother, I have brought converts to you. Oh, praise be to Father. Praise be to Father. Praise be. Great. Uh, yes, you can, you know, are, are you two ready and willing to take Father into your heart? I'm ready! Colt, Colt, Colt! <coughs> sorry, we don't have any Colts. No, I'm sorry. There's no horses no on this planet. It's my allergies. Or 45s. <laughs> or guns. We don't have guns or horses. Guns or horses. I hate both of them. Oh, you're but... going to fit in great here. Colt, Colt, Colt. I need some allergy medicine. Sure. <laughs> That's just how allergic to feathers, my dude. And, and and you, uh, metallic brother, are you ready oh, to I, convert to to father's graces? I am ready graces? to convert. Uh, so hard. Convert. <laughs> convert. To convert so hard. All right. So uh, <laughs> we should all go to the temple immediately then to begin the conversion process so that you can become one with father. Didn't we I go down to the river and pray, dude? Uh, what do we it? know about the conversion process? Hold on. Hold on. I... Yeah. Okay. Yakish had to kill a, s- a sister-in-law that was converted. That was to the uh, Xenon. That was the Xenomorphs. Yeah, the Xenons. okay. <laughs> a little different. Yeah, a little different. Different cult, cult, cult. Yeah, cult. different cult. Uh, so they start to walk you towards, uh, you're pretty sure it's a temple. It, it, it's not a ziggurat or anything like that. It more mimics a... This looks like an Arby's! <laughs> Why does it look like an Arby's? <laughs> because they have the meats, dude. Curly Shut fries. up. We have the meats. Um, and the beats. have the beats. Spits, 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 By Dre. Spits, spits. We're going to beat the god into you. The uh, oh. it, it looks like a cathedral, but instead of like a gothic style, it, very rounded edges and uh, things like that. And it's not a super tall building. It's not overly elaborate. It's just... Nice. Excessive. Yeah. So they, they take you into this building, and there are numerous people praying on their knees. Uh, there's not pews, more just pillows to, to kneel on. Mm-hmm. And at the front of the building, there are just rows and rows and rows and rows and rows of candles. But all of these candles are around a tube that's made of solid rock. And they're like, there. There is where you convert and take in Father's love. And he will deem you worthy of whether or not you can be one of us. So we, like, go in the tube, my dude? Yes, go into the tube. What's in there? Father's judgment. <laughs> Only what you take with you? Is Only, that what you're trying to say? Well, yeah, all, all of the things that you take with you, I suppose. Uh, Father will cleanse from you your sins. And once cleansed, you'll be <clears throat> as us. A pequar. Father Pure? will, you will hear the word of Father, and Father will hear you. Uh, <laughs> where, where are you is feeling father? all right, brother? We have antacids for yes, tummy please, aches. Please, I have a heartburn. Sure, and he gives you a dums. <laughs> <laughs> dum, dum, dum. It's charcoal. 
Yeah, charcoal pills. Sure, charcoal tablets. <laughs> I shove them up my asshole. Sure. Who would like to go into the, to the tube first? I will do it. Okay. Uh, can we go together like buddies? No, double D. That is highly unorthodox. Uh, let me pray on it. I am chosen, so it's up to you. Two. Yeah, you're already converted. Yeah, you're already converted. Uh, Todd, <sighs> father, because I don't Sorry. want Phil to possibly get one right this episode. Higher low, Todd, father. Let me roll. Let me roll. I got my answer. Low. And I was gonna say low as well. It's high. It's a God 70, damn it, it's Philip. A Seventy-six. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. Jinxed but me by rolling that die. So he, he puts his hands on the on his temples. He's like, Father says that it's best if you receive his love on a one-on-one basis. He's not the polygamist. He just wants this solo missionary time. <laughs> so wait, does that mean if we go together, then we have a better chance of resisting him? Well, they're telling you to not go together. They're not going to let us hold hands I mean, as we get the They're not God particularly aggressive, so they're probably not going to physically stop you if you do it, but they're just telling There's you, a like, mob of them. that sounds very naughty-naughty, and Father does not yeah, like naughty-naughty. Do naughty. Double D. That's true. Hold on, Dad. <clears throat> Brother. Brother. Yes, we are all brothers. Give me a second and to sisters. talk to my friend. Okay. Double D. Saul. I should go first, and I should go alone. All right. Do you want to maintain comms? Yes, we can do Dark that. Dark matter but comms. If there's anything that goes wrong, I'd rather have it happen to me than happen to you. And you have that dark matter bomb installed on your suit, right? Yes, I snuck it in under my <laughs> grundle. A dark matter bomb. Yeah, dude. A dark matter grenade bomb. Yes, I have it clenched. That's why I've been waddling in here. <laughs> That's why you have heartburn. It makes so much sense right now. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, and I'd rather have it happen to me first. Well, I'm cool with that. See ya. <laughs> Sorry, goodbye. <laughs> I love you, though. I Give know. Your... And I leave. So you go into the tube? Yeah. Okay. So you, you go into this tube, and the rock... I shut comms off! <laughs> No. It doesn't matter anyways. No, uh, so it, it's not like a metal tube where the doors slide closed. It, it almost looks like the rock grows and seals itself off. And you see all these red, bright red and bright orange, like, veins growing through the rocks. Oh, Perkins and would love this. You feel in your... It's so rainy. Yeah, so rainy. In your mind, Insane in as though vein. if you had eyes still, they'd be rolling back in its skull, and you feel as though something is pulling at the back of your brain, and you just hear like this voice coming at you from, it sounds like it's inside and outside you at the same time. Hi! It's me! Hi! I'm oh, Father! Let's What's go going on? You. That's not his voice. No, it's not his voice. <laughs> It's just like, hello, hello, child. I can see into your soul. Oh, I'm so sorry. There are a great many things that you and I must talk about. Oh, no. And at that point, we're going to call it. So thanks so much for tuning in. Check us out next time. This episode of Botch Podcast was brought to you by Smooth My Balls. That's right. You hate getting your dick nicked. Then head on over to smoothmyballs.com. <laughs> God knows I do. No one wants and, a serrated dick like me. Whew. Not for her pleasure. Any money you. spent there is spent into our wallets. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, and Twitch at Botch Podcast. This episode of Botch was brought to you by the Patreon producers. His Lord of Majesty, Big Jim. He who is Steve the Nuck, Big John, Lord Chronic. Together. Huh? Praise her. Praise her. Not father. Female Snuggler Supreme, Disgruntled Furniture, Zucari, 
you want to support the show, you can do so over at patreon.com slash podcast. Support where you can. Jenna Guy, what do you think? What, what do these people get if they support us over at patreon.com slash watch podcast? Uh, not only do you get really awesome Patreon exclusive episodes, so not only do you get cool shit like Patreon episodes, you also get access to our Discord community where we will support you and be awesome with you. We'll, we will help you lose weight. We will help you cook things. We'll help you, I don't know, do makeup if we start that. Um, awesome, awesome stuff. Makeup with Dennis. <laughs> makeup hey, with Dennis. Oh, tell me if Everybody I'm pretty. Everybody leaves. Here's, here's Everyone leaves because hold of on, Dennis. Hold on, hold on. Here's your makeup stream. It's the taste of different lipsticks. And oh, different lipsticks do and you it. chew into them. And, and you're not you allowed to say just this one tastes like tastes like chemicals. <laughs> no. Let's try this one. The, the crimson. It tastes like chemicals. Oh tastes like chemicals. Buy chemical producer stuff. Oh, hold on. Just hold drink on. bleach. That sounds wonderful. And also, oh. <laughs> you get to see stupid videos that we post to the Discord. Like that time that I said... All you have to do is raise your pledge by a penny, <laughs> and I'll have Dennis do a shot of vodka. <sighs> and I did. Which happened. Did anyone? And that's right. Thank you. Yeah, Big Jim did Big it. Jim for upping your pledge and having Dennis do a shot for the Discord. If you have a moment, head on over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review. It really helps the show grow. Thank you to Gozer for our intro and outro theme. More of them over at Gozer underscore music. Since we're in July... Hopefully their EP is out by now. <laughs> they said summer. It's now July. Where's our and EP? In- you know what? Everybody who's listening, go over to either Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook at Gozer underscore music and uh, leave a message saying, where's our EP? And really light the fire under their dumb asses. And also, <laughs> if you're thinking about future travel plans, you might want to think about Dragon Con. 2021 right. if it's Dragon happening. Dragon Con's in a fucking couple weeks. Uh, oh, Dragon Con old. hot tub the butt. What? Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to Vegas. Uh, and as always, <laughs> as, you, as you let your best friends sacrifice themselves first so that you can probably get away scot-free, scream balls. <laughs> Smooth balls. We'll see you next week. Then. Smooth balls. <laughs> Botch Podcast is proudly part of the Giant Size Team Up Network. You can support Dennis's new comic book projects over at patreon.com slash hivehead studios. And you can support Phil's streaming projects over at patreon.com slash imaginary nomad. Um, can we just do a stream where it's all of us in a hot tub, not including Jenna? I really hope so. Aww. Yeah, why can't Jenna come in the because, hot tub? Because then it would be too sexual. Why would it be so? What? Why? Why? All three. Why? Like, Your a, boy over here got his meat out. Come on. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, Grumpy. It's a, hot tub's the thing on Twitch now. Why is it or, too sexual or, with me? Or, 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 keep or, or, keep your lady bits to yourself, or, or, Jenna. Why is it too or, sexual or, with me? Or, or, because or, I have breasts? Or, exactly. Come on, Dennis. What or, the fuck? First, first or, off, no, no, no. Wait, Shut your wait, fucking mouth. Or, your, your Jenna wears mouth. flannel while we wear bikinis. But why? Why? I don't know. It'd be, it's too it's too hot for TV. Exactly. Too hot for TV. I've got tits. Sir. You've got tits. Her tits are bigger than our tits. Have you seen? We just all wear bikinis. We just all wear bikinis. Not recently. We just all wear bikinis. Just all of us. Fucking don't gatekeep Even Jenna straight from, across from the fucking board, and also go fuck yourself. Equality. And go fuck yourself. <sighs> Can we all wear clown it's makeup not too? It's about equality, you dumb fuck. Oh no 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 no. Then we're no. equal. <laughs> you all have nipples. You can Call all be milk. Clown, one more time. You got one more. God time. damn! Literally. <laughs> all right. So hot tub Remember stream when we is out. Had another fucking <laughs> cast. Dennis, buy a hot no, tub. No, no, we're gonna hot tub stream, and Dennis is not allowed. I could, 